So the question is, can you accept that you are here to do big things, that you are here to have a ginormous positive impact on people? Can you accept that you are meant to feel abundance, to have abundance? It doesn't necessarily have to mean having a ton of money, having a big house. Abundance is first and foremost a feeling than anything else. This is the Energy Within Podcast, all about accessing, nurturing, and building your energy and confidence so that you can get unstuck and design your life the way you want. My name is Carrie Jokala. I am your host. I am a Reiki master, a fitness instructor, a wife, a mom to two little boys, and this is episode 126. And before we dive in, a couple of things. First of all, I'm sure you can tell my voice is a little scratchy, so I apologize for that. It disappeared on Friday. And if you want to know what I sounded like, go to YouTube and type in Mrs. Doubtfire Brother. And I, I have yet to look up the actor's name. I know he's been in multiple movies And now I kind of almost hear it again in myself a little bit, but I feel like that's what I sounded like on on Friday, like all day. It was hilarious and awful at the same time. And it's starting to come back. It's better than it was. Good enough, I hope, for recording a podcast. Also, kids are awake. One is currently sitting next to me eating a cracker and talking. (laughs) And so you might hear a little bit of noise in the background today again. I was initially, I wanted to record a meditation because it's been a while since I've given you a meditation on the podcast, but I don't feel like my voice is quite up to par for that. So I'm going to hold off until my full voice is back. If you are looking for a meditation, because yesterday, if you're listening to this on release day on Wednesday, 2-22-22 was a big portal and lots of abundance, relationship things coming up. So if you want to do a meditation relating to that, I do have a couple of abundance meditations on the podcast that you can scroll back and look at. One of those is available as a free download on my website. So you can get it where it's just the meditation so you won't hear any of this chatter before and after. (laughs) Also, a quick reminder that the Boundaries Intensive is coming up this Saturday It is 9 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Central Time. It is $97. I'm just going to extend the price through the end of the week, the entire time. And once it is available afterwards, I may or may not change the price. I'm still debating. But what we're going to cover in there, I asked inside my group today, the day I'm recording this, what part of keeping boundaries is the hardest for you? And I got a few really good answers. So awkward conversations, people wanting you to explain yourself, setting them off, like keeping them up, clarity on who, what, and why for the boundaries, feeling bad about it, questioning if I'm wrong, not giving in to them after someone crosses one because you're too understanding. So a lot of that for me, my interpretation translates into feeling guilty, basically, And that is one of the things that we are going to address in the Boundaries Intensive. And we're going to do energy work. We're going to do Reiki around that. We're going to ask the guides in the Akashic Records about that to get some action steps to help you figure out how to maintain these boundaries without feeling guilty about it because you shouldn't feel guilty about maintaining boundaries. And let me tell you, some of my boundaries are being tested a lot lately myself. It's a constant ongoing thing. And it just takes practice and it takes having a plan. And that's the other thing that we're going to do is you're going to walk away with a plan, a written plan, because you're going to journal it out in real time while we're there during the intensive. We're going to talk it through. You can share answers, share ideas, ask questions. And of course, before we launch into all of that, I'm going to share some personal stories with you to give you some examples from my own life of 
setting and maintaining boundaries. And one in particular, a pretty big story that it's not that I haven't ever talked to anybody about it. I have. I just haven't shared it on the podcast or in my group or anything online. And it was one, it's a pretty big one because on the surface, a lot of the things that happened that led me to needing to set this boundary (laughs) seemed harmless. They seem harmless on the surface. They seem harmless when you look at them individually, but you put it all together. You put the energy that was behind it, the intention that was behind it, the guilt that was trying to be placed on me that was behind it. And it was just not a good situation. And while most people around me, I think, that saw it, saw also the truth of what was happening and believed me, (laughs) I felt like there were some people who didn't quite get it and thought maybe I was overreacting. But fortunately, I had people supporting me who, whether they believed or not, were willing to support my decision. And later on with somebody else from the same person, a lot of the same things started to happen. And I'm like, I told you. (laughs) I don't say that to anybody, of course, but like internally, I'm like, I told you, I knew it. (laughs) So you'll get to hear that story. (laughs) And of course, so this is a long offering. This is the longest that I've ever had anyone spend with me or offered to have anyone spend with me up to this point. So if you are not available to be there live either the entire time or maybe you can just be there for part of it, there will be a recording. I will hit the record button and you will get the replay. So if you make sure that you sign up ahead of time, you will guarantee that you'll get it for the $97 price and you'll still get the replay and you'll have access to it forever. So I'd love to see you there. I would love to have you invite some friends and bring them along. JJ is playing with a car. I hope it's not too bothersome. (laughs) He will not be there for the boundaries intensive. (laughs) So in lieu of being able to record a proper meditation for you today, like I wanted to, I decided to pull some cards and I actually pulled a lot of cards. (laughs) Normally I'll pull like two, typically three. And I pulled three from my work your light deck. And then I decided, I felt like the Star Temple deck was looking at me. So I pulled two cards from there. And I was, I don't know what meaning to assign to it, but I always think it's cool and interesting when I pull the card that has the image that's on the cover of the deck. (laughs) And that's what came up for that deck. And then I also asked for a couple cards. I pulled two cards from my Angel Tarot deck. So I'm not going to sit here and read you the book explanations for all, how many cards that? Three, five, seven cards. (laughs) And they're not in any type of placement, like past, present, future, anything like that. They're just right now. So I'm going to read what cards I pulled and what's on the cards themselves. And we will interpret from there the entire meaning together from those cards. I don't have a way to go back and listen as I'm recording, so you may have heard a little scream on there. I don't know. They were just bothering each other. Is this what I have to look forward to for the next however many years? (laughs) Can we get them to stop? I'm going to have to do like some more intense (laughs) and very concerted daily Reiki on them. (laughs) Okay, so asking what the message is that all of you needed to hear. Also, before I jump in, I promise not to delay too much longer, but I just wanted to say actually, hi, I meant to say this earlier. If you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm very grateful that you found this podcast and that you're here. I had a really, really huge spike in downloads over the weekend, which was really cool. And I already get like, I get a good amount of downloads. I'm not into like the thousands or anything like that yet, hopefully one day. But I get a good amount of downloads. It's been going up every month. But I got a ginormous spike. So if you're here because you're one of those people that just showed up, I just wanted to say that I'm glad you're here. And I welcome you to reach out, ask questions, share feedback, anything that you are feeling called to share. So the cards for everybody 
who is listening to this from the Work Your Light deck. We got, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong. I should really look it up. Mintaken, M-I-N-T-A-K-A-N. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Then I pulled Starseed, What Lights You Up, and Lemuria, Creating Heaven on Earth, It's Happening. From those three, I feel like it's encompassing. If you're here, you're probably a starseed, a light worker. And these cards are encompassing our journey here, our overall spiritual soul's purpose. We are here to anchor in the light, help raise the vibration of humanity and the planet literally bringing heaven down onto earth, which also brings home onto earth. So if you've ever, or maybe you've always felt a little lost, felt like you are not really truly home, you always feel like something's missing, you're still looking for something, it could be that you are a star seed one of the original light workers and the way you get home without actually <laughs> going home <laughs> we won't talk about we won't talk about it like that the way we get home is by bringing home here for everybody but that brings with it challenges of accepting who you really are allowing yourself to fully be who you really are and also accept the abundance and the type of life that you deserve that is here for you i think sometimes we might i think sometimes we might feel like we don't deserve abundance or we shouldn't have abundance because there's this idea that gets pushed about how it's better to have less better to give and while on one hand on many levels i feel like that's helpful and i do agree i also feel like we're not supposed to completely give ourselves away and that we're not allowed to have anything like <laughs> it goes back to the buzzword of self-care that we can't show up the way we're fully meant to show up if we're not taking care of ourselves so if we're feeling lack if we're feeling sad if we're feeling like something's missing if we feel if we're feeling like we're not good enough then what chance do we have of fulfilling our purpose it's not selfish, it's not rude to have the life that we want to have, to show others what's possible, to not do it in a conceited way, but to do it in a way that shows people what's possible, and then also to be able to have it to share with others. It's not about necessarily keeping it all to yourself. I do also believe that the more you give away, you get that same thing back. But if you don't have it to give, you can't get it back. <laughs> And I keep getting distracted by the kids, so I'm, I don't think I read you <laughs> the actual cards from the Star Temple deck. I think I just started telling you what they mean. So I got the mirror, reflect. I hold the mirror up to see, accept, and love all of me, fully accepting who you are. And this card is so pretty. She's wearing all these sparkly bracelets and rings and she's got a little sparkly jewel on her forehead. It's just really pretty. Just shining, letting who you are shine and being accepting of that. And then the cosmic enchantress, which is the image from the front of the deck, wish craft, W-I-S-H, I attract a steady flow of abundance so by stepping into who you really are, accepting your roots as a star seed, as a light worker, accepting your job and what you are meant to do will also bring you abundance. And then I pulled the two cards from the Angel Tarot deck. And these ones, so those ones are the ones that we already just talked about are very big, very, very beautiful. And kind of big picture, I think is what I want to say. These might be getting a little more into the details of why you might be struggling to step into <laughs> what these other cards said. So we pulled the five of fire, competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others, and the seven of air, 
plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, poor timing. So maybe this relates in some way to setting boundaries, (laughs) taking care of yourself, Because in doing so, even though we might worry that it will cause conflict, in the end, it will prevent, maybe even resolve conflict. Because people will then know where you stand, how far they're allowed to push, (laughs) and when you're going to push back or at least put your foot down. So the plans that need revision, I feel, could be getting in writing a plan for setting and maintaining boundaries because maybe we're worried about the conflict with others. We're worried about the conflict that would come from setting boundaries. We're worried about the conflict that could come with fully accepting and stepping into who we are and what we're meant to do because it's big. It's grandiose. It's overwhelming. It's something that I don't think a lot of people are willing or able to admit that they're here to do. Because again, it's not meant as a conceited, oh, look at me, look how awesome my soul's path is. Because honestly, at the root of all of it, I believe we're all here with that purpose. It's just a matter of how we're supposed to do it and maybe how involved we're supposed to be. So the question is, can you accept that you are here to do big things? That you are here to have a ginormous positive impact on people? Can you accept that you are meant to feel abundance, to have abundance? It doesn't necessarily have to mean having a ton of money, having a big house. It can, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'll admit that that's one of the things that constitutes abundance for me. (laughs) Abundance is first and foremost a feeling than anything else. So let's take one of the necessary steps to getting you there by helping you set these boundaries and then figure out how you're going to maintain them and energetically remove the guilt, the shame, all of the blocks that have been holding you back. And of course, we can also do this on a one-on-one basis, signing up for a personal virtual Reiki session I'd love to help you with this. And let me be clear too. This is a journey that I'm still on. I have not reached the end. I don't think there is an end to reach in the first place. But I do know that I have some things to share that will be helpful. And most importantly, I want to help you get in touch with your own intuition. Because my goal isn't to be the one who has all the answers. My goal is to be the one who helps guide you to being able to find your own answers. At the most, perhaps giving you some confirmation so that you know it's not just all in your head. It's not just your imagination. And that brings me to one of my favorite Harry Potter quotes. Of course it is happening inside your head, Harry. But why on earth should that mean that it is not real? Makes perfect sense to me, especially since starting this whole journey of learning Reiki and everything that has come since. (laughs) So I'd love to see you in the Boundaries Intensive. I would also, if you're not already a part of it, I'd love to see you in the Energy Within Facebook group. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram. Help me bust the freaking algorithm because my reach sucks. (laughs) And I know I'm biased, but I think my videos are pretty awesome. I think I'm funny. And I hope you think I'm funny too, (laughs) in a good way. I started to accept and embrace my weirdness a long time ago, so I don't even care anymore. (laughs) I will dance by myself. I do not care. I have long since passed that point of caring. Life's too short for that. (laughs) Ain't nobody got time for that. I got to do a reel with that audio too, actually. I don't know where I left off before I had to get Teddy to stop yelling the gummy bear song, so I'll just end it here. (laughs) Again, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. If you've been here for a long time, I'm also so glad that you're here. Thank you so much for listening. And if I don't see you for the Boundaries Intensive, I will see you on the next podcast.